Today was the biggest challenge in my life ever to compete in any sport I've ever done ever. Why? Because I was sick the entire day and not just a little sick, like super sick. So yeah, the last couple pounds to lose, like I'm 0.8 over, it's super tough. Like at first it's easy, now I'm like pasty, I'm so thirsty, it's crazy. But obviously I can't drink any water, I'm dead. Even though I'm like fully like carb toast, so to speak, it's like the dehydration is taking over and it's tough. I just wanna like eat and drink water, but I can't. So I'm gonna tan soon. And I'm actually super nervous. Even though this is like my 58th show, it's like the nerves are there, same as anyone else really, just cause I've done it so many times. Just like I wanna make top five so bad. Like top five, like for me, it's probably like winning the Olympia. So like I want it so bad and it's so close cause the show is right, you know, it's tonight. So I'm ready. I can't wait. I want to get like tan, get some color on. Um, yeah, and look better obviously with the tan. First coat tan done. Already darker than my final coat in Germany. The tan's looking great. Way faster, way better. And so I'm just drying off right now. It's about 10.30 in the morning. Weighing in an hour and a half. 0.8 pounds left to lose. 16, great new set. So I just made weight, 184.6 pounds, five foot six and a half. Not under five foot six, five foot six and a half. I don't remember anything else that happened at the weigh-in, but that, um, I couldn't really think or talk or meet anyone, so. I just had lost 13 pounds to make weight. So maybe next year I'll come back with 10 pounds more muscle and I'll, I'll just cut 10 more pounds. So I'm drinking some water now so that I can actually compete because I couldn't actually compete right now because I wouldn't be able to pose because I can hardly stand up. And then I'm gonna just eat a little bit Try not to get bloated. Everything looks retarded right now, except for my stomach is bloated, but I think we got like six hours. So I'll check in later. So we're about three hours from pre-judging and I'm just basically like, I'll call it flat because obviously I had to cut weight so much. So I'm gonna sodium load here. Just get a bit of food. I couldn't eat much earlier because my stomach was too bloated. You know, it just gets bloated. So it's flattened out some and I need this, have enough time to absorb it. Try to get that vein crazy look. Need a lot of ketchup here. Okay, so I'm back at the hotel and I made second call out. But in the first call out, there was only a four guys. So I may in fact crack the top five. What happened was I was the second man in, there was five in the second call out. And then basically they moved me to the middle, which is usually a good sign. And I stayed there the entire time, which is awesome. So after that, I thought, man, I might've got to top five. But then there was another call out with the top three guys. And then there was another call out with a guy who was in the last call out and a guy in the first call out and a guy in my call out. So I have no idea what place I could get. As in a zero idea, a zero, no clue. I know for sure I did not make top three, but <laughs> there was no way I was making top three. What was cool about this show is there were shorter guys, okay? And these short guys were jacked. And it just really shows me how much genetics is so important. They have like really small waist and not everyone is shredded. like. Babe, was I the leanest guy in this show this time? Uh, there were a couple lean guys. So I wasn't the leanest, because if I was, she would have said so. So I was about the third leanest guy in the show. Just pumping up, I thought I might have been. I, but anyway, I did pretty good. I was fairly lean, I guess. 
And uh, yeah, so you know, this is uh, after liter water, so I'm a little bit more bloated. But anyway, I'm really hoping for top five. I don't know if it's gonna happen. That's the dream. Will it happen? <laughs> Find out tomorrow. I am super dehydrated, <laughs> pumped, excited, just like on cloud nine, just like losing my mind, excited. And however, I'm so full. I've been trying to eat like as much as I could to get like huge. I'm like 190 pounds and I don't even know if I can eat any of this. Like, well you saw me, I ate 14 cups of rice in a sitting. I ate as much as I could. I'm drinking coffee decaf because it's like, I can't get to like 200 pounds tonight because I have to do a routine tomorrow. So I can't blow it. But I mean, I got a lot of time to absorb this food. So I want to eat it, but like, I'm mostly just dehydrated. I'm not hungry at all. I'm just so dehydrated. Like. If some of you watched the videos. I cut 13 pounds to make the weight class and then I put on a couple pounds, competed in my best shape. Not the leanest I've ever been in my life. Second leanest, four and a half percent body fat. Leanest in the show though. We were debating it, if I was the leanest or not. We went through it. I think I was the leanest. I don't bullshit. She wasn't sure, we looked through. So I think I came in the leanest, so why not get bigger tomorrow? I'm already lean enough. Um, Ruffin, amazing, gonna win. Could be leaner. Could be leaner, didn't need to. Second place, ridiculous. Could be leaner. If he gets leaner, he's gonna just destroy. And Ruffin as well. What was cool about this show for just for me is all these short guys. So Ruffin is like way shorter than me. And I don't know the name of the guy in second, sorry. But he actually looks like me. I saw, I saw a picture doing a back double bicep and I was like, oh, my back looks pretty good, but I thought my hamstrings were leaner. And it was another guy, like he looked exactly like me. He's 20 years younger, I'm sure. But it was so funny to see. Cause I, I swear it was, I thought it was me being compared. I was like saying, hey man, oh yeah, I beat this guy. Like, look, and I'm comparing, I thought it was me. It wasn't me. It's the guy that's gonna get second. So much potential. If you don't have a small waist, you're screwed. If you do, your potential is limitless. Literally, if you have a small waist, you can do it. There's all these guys, they're shorter than me and their weight caps are, are less than mine, but they look like monsters. Why? Their waist is so small, so well, their waist weighs pounds, and so then that makes more pounds everywhere else and makes everything look more V-tapered. It's crazy what you can do if you have a small waist. So watching the video, there's nothing I could do better. You can say bigger legs, bigger chest, bigger shoulders, bigger arms, and so forth. But yeah, it doesn't you. matter. It's the best I could do. That's the best I can do. The maximized muscle I could make. If I put one pound on my arms, that's one pound that comes off my quads. If you want one pound on my back, that's one pound off my chest. There's no way I can get bigger. I was the most messed up person at the weigh-in. I could hardly think, function, do anything. All day I've been in a mess. It's a nightmare trying to make the weight and then having to compete five hours later. So, that's it. I can't get any better. This is the best I can give, the best I can do. And I'm hoping for a top five. The callouts were strange. My prediction is I'm gonna get fifth. Could I get fourth? Maybe. Could I get fifth? Maybe. Could I get sixth? Maybe. Could I get seventh? Maybe. Eighth? It's possible, not likely. Ninth, possible, not likely. I'm calling fifth. The dream was fifth. We shall see if I can make it. If I did, happy dance. Mm -hmm. If I didn't, meh. That's it, I gave my best effort. So I'm gonna try to eat this now, and then we're gonna try to sleep. So Allie's had stomach ache all day, but she's been out recording and stuff. So I just wanted to show you, I stole her fries. I don't know if she'll be able to eat that because like, she's like feeling sick in the stomach. And so she's having a hard time. <laughs> it's been a long travel, long trip. Just want to get the show done. Be pumped and just, you know, it's That's just a fun way. journey. But it's like now that you're prejudges, it's just like, come on, let's get finals in and let's like be done like, and have normal life again. <laughs> I just wanted to see what I weigh. It's 10.30, so it's about time for bed. And 
I am 192.4. I got my not a doctor shirt. And so there you go. So I'm about seven pounds over the weight class. So, you know, pretty vascular, but bloated, you know. But anyway, I'm just gonna let all this food absorb and I'm guessing I'll lose five pounds overnight and I'll probably be back down to 187. And then just hardly eat tomorrow, maybe a decent little breakfast. Depends if my stomach is like flat or not and then go for the finals. So update, um, there's a flu going around and I got it. So I haven't eaten or drank anything. Threw up about eight times since last night. Uh, I feel like garbage. I'm gonna basically try to get out on stage. I might be able to pump up for two minutes. Shorten up my routine so I don't pass out. It's unfortunate, you know, because I look great despite all this crap. Um, you might think all the bodybuilders are shoving needles in their ass. I'm shoving, what the hell did I put in my ass? Gravel suppository. Gravel suppositories on my asshole in a car. My mom's car. I'm going <laughs> Sorry, to mom. barf if I drink anything. So this is how much I drank today. I still weigh 185.4 pounds, so I still look good. Probably a lot of people think it's drugs and diuretics and all this stuff. I actually took the fewest diuretics I've ever taken in, geez, since I started taking them. This is the lowest amount I've ever taken. So that's probably been I don't even remember, 10 years or something. And the Tanners told me that the throw-ups have been going around. And I had this, but the woman version of it yesterday. For... I was wondering why she couldn't eat all day yesterday. And like, I was like, what's going on? She was like so sick and like just complaining. I was like, what's going on? I and was then, dead, like barely she's alive. Like, I need to sleep, I need to sleep. And I was like, let's go eat. And she's like, I need a sleeping pill so I make sure I can get sleep. And then 10 seconds later, she was asleep. <laughs> so I'm hoping for top four, in fact, now, after going over all the comparisons from last night, I feel like I'm, from what I saw, I think I'm the fourth best. We will see. However, if we have to compare tonight and get judged again. You're in trouble. I'm, new, I'm moving down spots. So, cause I can't pump up, I can't flex hard. Like, I'm basically trying, like, if you don't compete tonight, you get disqualified. So, like, my dream of making top five would be over if I just say, oh, I'm sick. So, I'm not quitting. I'm going out there. I'm going to put a smile on my face. And I'm going to hope that no one in the audience notices that I'm in a mess. So, I'm actually going to sit in the car right now because if I go backstage... And I really miss this. I want to go and talk to all the competitors, but um, I just wouldn't be able to carry like a conversation. And I'd be like laying down on the floor with my eyes closed. So it's like I'm just better off staying here, hoping that ass suppository white, white bowl, yeah, ass suppository works and stuff. I'm thirsty, but if I drink, I barf. I'm not hungry at all, but man, it's brutal. But at least I think I look good. This is not usually what it's like to be a bodybuilder. I've done a lot of shows. I knock on wood, I've, I've never actually been sick at a show. I have in powerlifting, but I mean, I'm pumped, but I'm so nervous that I'm not gonna be able to actually do it. So I'm nervous. But, I mean, I'm going to still get out there and I'm hoping, like, the adrenaline hits or something and I can just get out there and, like, pretend like it's not happening and be, like, normal. Because who knows, maybe I'll get, like, energy, like, five minutes before I get out there. So, anyway, we'll end it there. But I am absolutely 
wrecked right now, like as sick as a dog. Like sick enough to go to the hospital. But anyway, wish me luck. <laughs> fourth place everybody I think fourth place counts as the top five I did it I made it the dream is a reality it happened Ali's driving <laughs> and I'm still wearing my medal <laughs> you gonna and sleep with that on tonight I think I might sleep with it for a month <laughs> today was the biggest challenge in my life ever to compete in any sport I've ever done, ever. Why? Because I was sick the entire day. And not just a little sick, like super sick. So I had this thing since I was like 16 years old where I get like, I'm just gonna call it stomach pains. But since I was a kid, I'd have to go to the hospital. I have mega pains and like, it'll, it happens like maybe five or six times a year. So it decides to happen last night. And so I laid in bed all day. I ate zero. I drank zero since last night. I tried. I tried to swallow gravel so it wouldn't throw up and I would throw up. I tried to swallow anything I tried to swallow I threw up. I couldn't even sip a sip of water. It was just a nightmare. So I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I went and got a tan, and I had to leave the tan early to throw up, and there's nothing in my stomach. I'm throwing up like bile, so it's not like, you know, there's no food. I just, it just, it's just uncomfortable pain. So I had severe stomach aches and pain. It just sucked. So finally, we end up, she got, I keep forgetting what it's called, gravel suppository. suppository. So I'm shoving a finger up my bum hole in while while driving here to the to the event. And I'm like cuz I I can't stand it like I'm just I, I'm going to throw up. I I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get disqualified. I'm going to throw up on stage and then it's going to go viral. And I'm like that's not what I want to do. So about an hour after that, so I'm parked in the in the in the in the arena or whatever. I can't go in yet because if I get out of the car, I'm going to vomit. And then after like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, it starts to go down enough where I can get up. So I get into the venue and I'm like, there's no way I'm pumping up or doing anything. I'm just going to like get glazed at the last minute and then just go. So they glazed me at the last minute. They remembered me being sick. Um, and so I'm not exaggerating. I'm in a mess so I start sipping on Pedialyte just because it tasted good not that it's going to cure cancer or anything but it it was just a bit and I was able to eat like maybe 15 jelly beans or something before going on stage and so I get the glaze on and then I just kind of stand around and I don't really pump up I just wait till the last minute and then do the like s smallest little quick little pump type thing and I go out and do my routine and then I get off and then I'm like stomach ache and I want to throw up I'm just standing there with my eyes closed and these the suppositories they're very powerful like it's like taking a sleeping pill so imagine you're going to compete after taking a sleeping pill and this time you can't vomit the sleeping pill up and then have have it not work so I'm half asleep half stand just in a mess mind you I am shredded because I mean I haven't eaten all day but I only weighed like 185.6 I think I was when I left so the plan was to get bigger for the night show and I did the opposite I got smaller but what can you do so I do that and I almost die in between the posing routine and then they say, yeah, we're getting compared again. I'm like, oh my God, I have to compare again? So I wait around, you know, it's like 30 more minutes and I do another couple push-ups. Then we walk out and then they go, first call out. And then my name is called and I'm like, yes, boom, boom. Cause I wasn't in the first call of pre-judging. So it goes to show, don't give up just because you didn't make the first call out. Maybe you got overlooked. Obviously, I got overlooked 
because they called out four guys in the first call out. Guess who wasn't in there? Me. Remember when I said they basically, it's like a small waist contest. So when I just stand relaxed, I don't look like I'm gonna win anything because my waist isn't three inches wide. It's not that tiny. But when I actually do some flexes, my muscles pop and I'm shredded. So that really pushed me ahead. So in the night show, they call out seven of us in numerical order. So I'm on the left. So usually how it works is like the setter is going to win and move you around and stuff. So we do a set of rounds, whatever, and I'm on the side. Then they switch me over with, I think, was the guy that was in the first call out. Yep. So the guy in the first call out was right to my right. They switch me over with him. So essentially that means I'm beating him. So like if you're on the ends, you're basically sixth or seventh. And if you're on the sides of that, you're fourth or fifth. So I moved over, and which is awesome. And then I keep posing, and then we go back. So then we're all back, and then they're calling out the top five. And in fifth place, do you remember the guy's name? don't remember anybody's name. I I'm half I don't know mentally names. challenged. I can't pronounce names. You guys have seen my videos. I can't pronounce anyone's names. I can't add anymore. I'm in a mess. So he gets fifth place and it's not me and I'm like, uh oh. He had competed three weeks in a row and you know, he's pretty, he's really quite good. He just wasn't shredded. If he was as lean as me, he would dominate. would have destroyed me. So hard work and diet pays off because I beat a lot of guys because of conditioning. If I hadn't have been shredded, I wouldn't have won. Guys placed ahead of me who weren't as shredded, that is true. But they're just better shapes, smaller waists, and so on. So, you know, that's how it works. So, if you want to be the best, you need both shredded and the shape and size too. So, anyway, they call it fifth place, it's not me. And I'm like, man, I hope I'm fourth because I really want a top five so bad. I'm standing there and I'm like, oh man, and I'm like, nerves are crazy like I, you, you don't understand I can't describe it and then it's like they said fourth place and they said my name and I'm like oh like even now thinking about it I'm like it's so much work it's like climbing Mount Everest for three months and then if you if your goal is to make top five and you feel you're you're gonna do it and then what if you get to the top of the mountain and they said no you climbed the wrong mountain it's like what I spent three months and I didn't climb the mountain I wanted. So I wanted top five so so bad, like because it was just my my goal that you know. And you can't affect how others look, but but whatever. So they call my name and I'm in fourth place and I'm just like I think elated is the the, the, the word to describe it. Just so pumped, and so I did it. Uh, got to talk, take pictures with a lot of the guys. Very cool group of dudes at this event. And we did a big pose down. My girlfriend was helping uh, video everything. So there's going to be footage of that. It's awesome. And man, what a what an event. What a show. And I'm just so happy. And I, I have a really bad stomach ache right now. And like normally after a show, I would be like eating and drinking and all that good stuff. But... I had that Pedialyte one liter and I've been trying to sip on this water. It's not going very well, but I mean, I am just so sick. Like I just can't eat and drink, but it's, it'll go away. So I'm just gonna slowly hydrate back, but there's no like going out and eating like special foods and stuff. It's just like, just, you've all been sick before, get sick and then try competing. You know, the days you call in sick from work because you're sick the days you couldn't go to school because you're sick. Now picture that, and I'm just as bad as that. You're vomiting, the whole thing, but you have to compete and look amazing, and like, I don't know, you have, to, show. you have to do your best. You can't quit, I can't get disqualified. Like I just, I had to do it. So you have to go to work, sick as a dog, I did it. I made it through. That's the wrap up, that's the show, that's the goal, that's the dream. The dream is now a reality. Not doing another show. I didn't qualify for the Olympia. I'm not planning to try to qualify for the Olympia. I'm planning to be normal, eat some freaking French toast once I don't have a stomach ache, have some popcorn when I feel like I can eat, 
and get back to eating like normal and having a normal life, continuing to train and so on, but not being like a million calories deficit. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed my journey to this show. Hopefully, it makes you feel better about your own show and your own struggles that you had to go through. Because trust me, every single person that does a show is going to have some kind of story that part of their prep happened that made it hard for them. You know, one guy lost his luggage on the way to Canada and he didn't have it for two days. Horrible. And he gets his luggage bags all broken and stuff. He gets third place. He didn't give up. He, he still put every effort into it. So you can see everyone has a struggle. It might be different. It might be big. It might be small. It could be something different completely. But just hang in there. Follow your passion. Follow your dream. And I hope you reach your goals. And I am out. <laughs>